So this short tutorial is going to show you um, two very basic ways in comparative politics for uh, comparing different cases. It's the most different system design and the most similar system design. And these two ways of doing comparison are really quite classic uh, in, in this field. And I'm going to go through both of them, uh, including some uh, problems that, that arise from using them. So if we start with the most different system design, uh, what we do with the most different system design is to compare cases that are different in every single way except the outcome. If we look at this table I've built here, um, I have three different po uh, possible causes for the outcome of revolt hunger, commercialized agriculture, or peasant communalism. We have three different cases. Um, and what we can see here is that um, the outcome is the same in all three cases. Uh, but there are variables that are not identical in the three cases. Uh, in all of these cases, you can see that the there is one thing in common, and it's hunger. The other two variables varies across the different uh, the different uh, cases, and that's the point here with the system design. So these are supposed to be part of the system then that we're looking at, and by logical deduction, uh, we have to conclude that the variable that triggers the outcome, the variable that leads to the outcome is most likely the one variable that these three cases have in common, which in this case, uh, as I've stated, is hunger. Now, there are some problems with this. And here are a couple of, of good, uh, good questions and concerns to think about uh, when using this method. First of all, really, have the right variables been identified? I've uh, looked at three different variables here, but maybe there are more. Uh, maybe there is five variables that, that are relevant to this. Some variable that we didn't know that actually also is identical across, across the three cases. Maybe hunger leads to something else, which then leads to, uh, leads to um, revolt. So there could be a cause of D, we have A, B, and C here. There could be a fourth cause that we just didn't think, think about to, to examine. Um, uh, and also, maybe this uh, variable here, the hunger variable, maybe this only leads to revolt in certain circumstances that we haven't been able to uncover yet. So these are, are questions that a researcher using uh, the most different system design have to think about and uh, pay attention to in designing uh, the research. Uh, the second classic way of doing uh, comparative politics is the most similar system design, um, which we have right here. Uh, in this case, we, do, we compare cases that are similar in uh, almost every way, except the outcome. So it's, it's the, the complete opposite of what we did in the last uh, exercise. I've added a case four and five here. Uh, and the case four, it has hunger and commercialized agriculture and peasant communalism. Case five uh, does also have commercialized agriculture and peasant communalism, but it does not have hunger. And then we look at the outcomes and we find that, oh, there is revolt in one case, there is not revolt in the other case. And again, we uh, are, by deduction, uh, forced to conclude that hunger is the triggering variable in this. So in this case, we, we uh, uh, look at uh, the outcomes and try to find cases that are similar in almost every respect. And then uh, by doing so, we can find that one variable that varies between them and that allows us to conclude what the cause of um, the uh, result could be. Now, uh, like in the f uh, other uh, system design, there can be some problems with this. Uh, for instance, uh, 
and this is the, the classical one really, finding uh, cases that are so similar to each other. Uh, to get all factors but one identical is really, really difficult. Uh, and this taps back into the discussion uh, for uh, the most uh, different system design, uh, have the right variables been identified? Uh, really so many different variables that we could think about. Uh, and, and this is one of the classic problems in political science, isolating variables. Uh, and, and to some extent, this is up to the, the just we're limited as uh, researchers by our own imagination. Uh, so uh, finding uh, and, and design, uh, designing the research in such a way that we've covered uh, enough variables and then finding a case that has all those fa uh, factors except a single one identical can be a real challenge.